this a private or a public IP address? Do you have the same one in your network? And what's the difference between public and private IP address? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the IT Explaining channel. Today we will be talking about the difference between private and public IP. First things first, what's an IP address? IP stands for Internet Protocol. IP address is a numeric address that serves as an identifier for a device on a network. Every device has this address in order to communicate within the network properly. So yes, your computer, router, phone and smart IoT devices have one. There are two different types of IPv4 addresses. There is also a difference between IPv4 and IPv6, but that's for another video. Today we'll be focusing on IPv4. So as I said, there are two different types, public and private. What are their differences? Let's start with a public IP address. When you buy an internet service from your internet service provider, ISP, your modem or router is assigned with a public IP address. This address is unique and is registered on the internet. If you don't have public IP, you can't access the internet. Now you may be asking, why then we need private IP addresses, when every device could have a public one? Well, it's because there are something only over 4 billion IPv4 addresses available. When the internet was created, nobody expected it to be so big. If we hadn't found the solution, we would already have run out of IP addresses. This problem of shortage of public IP addresses was solved when engineers developed private IP addresses. They aren't registered on the internet and you cannot access the internet with this type of IP address. Private IP addresses are used only internally on local networks such as your home network or business network, etc. For this reason, these addresses aren't unique, so other people can have the same IP addresses in their own home network. They can be static or automatically assigned by your home router thanks to DHCP. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol takes care of assigning different private IP addresses to devices. In order to connect to the internet, you need to convert a private IP address into a public one. Via Network Address Translation, NAT, which is a method of mapping an IP address space into another by modifying network address information in IP header. Let's look at an example. We have our network, which has more than one device. We have a router and we want to access the internet. We know that we don't need more public IP addresses because that would be expensive and a waste of public IP addresses. Instead, we will use only one public IP address on our router and utilize DHCP so that our router gives private IP addresses to all devices on the network. When we want to access the internet from any device, this private IP address will be translated via NAT and also if we get a response from some server, that NAT will translate this public IP into a private one so it reaches our device. Okay, so let's go back to private IP addresses. There are actually three classes of private IP addresses, and these classes have different ranges. Class A is for the largest number of hosts, and it starts with 10. Class B is used in medium-sized organizations, and it starts with anything between 172.16 to 172.31. You may not understand all these numbers if you don't have knowledge in subnetting, we will have some videos on that topic in the future. The most popular class is class C. It's commonly used for home and small business networks. It starts with 192.168. Most likely your own network starts with 192.168. You can find out for yourself if you are using a Windows computer, open up the command prompt and type in 
IP config. If you are using a Mac or a Linux, open up the terminal and type in ifconfig. And if you are on your smartphone, just look at your Wi-Fi settings to which you are currently connected to, and you can scroll down and see your IP address. Now, if you want to see your public IP, you can open up a web browser and search for what's my IP address. To sum up this video and main differences of public and private IP addresses, public IP addresses are unique, whereas private aren't and can be used in different local networks. Public IPs are publicly registered and can access the internet. Private ones are not publicly registered and can't directly access the internet. Public IPs are used externally on the internet. Private IPs are used internally on a local network. Public IPs are assigned by your internet service provider and you have to pay for every single one. Private IPs are assigned by a router or manually and they are free. So this is it. Thanks for watching this video about differences between public and private IP addresses. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and comment what you liked or what we can improve. If you want to see more IT related content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime. Thanks for watching.